everybody and welcome to Senior Happenings and I will be your host today, Tricia Ayers. I am, I'm always excited when we do this show, but especially I never get to see this person. She's just <laughs> flitting all around the community um, and we're going to be talking about salt for most of the show. Not what we put on our food to season it, but something else that's very important in our community and especially helping our seniors. So we're going to talk to Megan Cosgrove. Megan. How are Hello. you? Thank you so much for having Thank me. Thank you for being here. You're such <laughs> yes. a busy lady. No, no, no. And so we're going to talk about salt. What is salt? So salt is seniors and law enforcement together. Seniors and law enforcement together. Yes, okay. yes, yes. So it started as kind of a compilation of, um, it's actually been, oh, it was 1990, I believe, that started in our area. Um, a compilation of law enforcement, of local community members, um, of those interested in caring for our elder population. So. A lot of it revolves around, you know, interacting, making sure that they um, have uh, information on scams and on what's taking place and anything relevant and current in uh, law enforcement and tying that community together. And you are a very active member of SALT. I am, You yes. really are. Um, about how many board members do we have? Because I see a lot of names on the emails that go yes, out. Yes, yes. I would say active members. We have about 15, 10 okay. to 15 who are, um, you know, plugging away at, at being involved, doing different things. Um, some of those are law enforcement officers who aren't always able to attend. Um, Chief Graves is a huge supporter. He's very involved. Um, and so, and a few of the other community uh, police departments as well. Um, but yeah, there's about 10 or so, 15. So. How did you get involved with SALT? Oh, good question. So let's see. We, we've been involved more or less since we opened about 16 years ago at the Meadows. And, uh, it, I, you know, I, I can't remember how it came about now that, that someone approached us and said, hey, this is a really good program. And I've been involved in a lot of different communities um, or um, committees through the years. And this is just the one that stuck. So it first started off as somebody else at the Meadows that was involved. And um, as they were going a different direction, I was like, well, I, I want to do that. Mm -hmm. I want to be involved. Uh, and I think just the the um, camaraderie of you know working so closely with um, our law enforcement, uh, and then also with this population, obviously, is um, was a huge huge benefit and a huge. Um, uh, something I was really interested in. Sure. So, yeah. You mentioned the meadows. For those people who don't yes. know, tell us about yes. the meadows. Okay. So the meadows is independent and assisted living. Um, we're a family business. So it was actually my grandparents that built it and lived there. Oh well, up until they passed away a few years ago. Um, and so we are. Um, uh, we have independent folks. We have those who need a little bit more assistance. We have nursing staff 24 hours a day. And it's a lot different just in that we're just a family business. So um, it kind of gives a little bit of freedom to put our attention and time into the areas that we want to. Absolutely. Yeah. I know when you walk in, it does feel like mm -hmm. being at home. Yeah, yeah. We have a dog. We have kids running around. You know, not they're not always like running around right, rampant, yes. but you know it happens. So, uh, yeah, it really is one of those things we want it to be. It, our our motto is uh, our family caring for your family with honor, dig dignity, and respect. And so that kind of ties into why salt is so important to me as well. Yes, um, that we're caring for this generation that. Um, you know, it's easy to kind of get caught up in our own lives, and even as, you know, we're talking about our own lives and what's happening, it's easy to get caught up in that and forget that there are a lot of folks who are not as up to date with what's going on, right. you know, as we are just because we are involved in the community, and right. we have to be. So. One thing that I found um, about SALT is the heartwarming stories that you hear. You know, you and I don't get to see that side often, right. but sometimes the police are called in yeah. and there's a need. 
Yeah. There's a need for basic necessities, oh, really. Yeah. yeah. And so that's very endearing. It is. That they can be the front line for us to be able to help. Yes. It gives me goosebumps. So actually, and I know we'll kind of launch into more of the necessities drive, but this kind of summarizes it. It actually stemmed from, the necessities drive itself stemmed from a conversation with Miranda Booth, who is with the uh, uh, Sheriff's Department, Button County Sheriff's Department, very, very active in all sectors of what they do, their events, their activities, that kind of thing. And she was telling me that it was actually um, someone close to her in her community that was living without like a stove and something else, heat or something. And she's like, you know, I just feel like I just want to help her. I just want to do something. I, I can't sink a whole lot of money, a whole lot more money into this personally, but like she doesn't have the basic stuff. So we started, the two of us started talking about like, okay, let's let's do this necessities drive and this will be such a good um, way to kind of incorporate, like reminding these folks that they're not alone. They might have family that live far away. They may not have family anymore. Right. A lot of them, um, they don't have anyone left. So um, we, uh, we started the first year we did the necessities drive um, around Christmas time, we um, we had a huge influx of f folks who donated things and items, including some money. And so we were able to help her get her um, her her heater fixed or her stove fixed, whichever it was. Um, and we're like, this is this is really great. Like this is a tangible way to relate back, you know, to yes. these homebound seniors, especially. Yes. And people who are very proud. Yes. And do not want to ask for help. Exactly. Because you cannot imagine somebody in, say, we're in Bella Vista right now. You cannot right. imagine somebody not having heat right. Right. or air conditioning yes. in our community. But it's there. It, it happens daily. Yes. Yes. Yeah, and folks just make it. And it's one thing to make it when, you know, you have a little bit more sustainable life. where You're capable, physically capable. Um, it's another when it's a fragile situation already. Yes. So um, we we found it to be such a heartwarming like it was this this person was just beside herself with gratefulness like how did you think of me right. and basic stuff mm -hmm. toilet paper and paper towels and stuff that she needs to buy but she's on a fixed income and so along with fixing her item we were also able to help her with some of those things and, and alleviate a little bit of that burden, you know, even if it's temporarily. Right, right, to let people know that people care. Yes, yes. And it's not out there on the world to display. Right, You know, exactly. Mrs. Jones needs yeah. toilet paper, you know. <laughs> right. It's right. embarrassing. I'll parry. Yes. Yeah, no, yes. nothing like that. So well, let's yeah. talk about the necessities drive. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's get yes. right into it. Yes. Okay, so this is a... Um, we've done it both um, around Christmas time. So again, it's the merry and bright necessities drive. So we, so we want to remind people, especially through COVID, um, we found again, folks are even more isolated, right? So um, we gather items, um, all the necessity items. Um, we've started doing like coffee, but body wash, slippers, gloves, things that you know, like you may or may not be able to afford, but right. are necessary um toilet paper paper towels and then um make sure that those go out to the community uh, a lot of it has gone back to the operation good morning folks yes here in bella vista yes. um folks who don't have contacts and who you know the police department is reaching out to touching base with um <clears throat> as well as case managers who work with homebound seniors and that kind of thing um we started doing it uh, Christmas in July as well. So about halfway through the year, um, do it again, gather all these items, and then make sure they get out to folks who need it. There, it's kind of a two-part system. We've picked, um, or we've, we've, um, we've targeted certain groups and saying, okay, we want to make sure that this population gets it in this area. Yes. Um, but then we also take nominations. So um, we'll have to make sure to share yeah, the nomination stuff, but um, we definitely take nominations from the community for seniors who are homebound or who need a little bit of extra something, whether it's the items or you know they're really struggling with um, their heat or something that you have been so beneficial and um, a part of was even in the summer of like this person doesn't have air conditioning, so can we provide some fans for them and that kind of thing? Right. 
and absolutely that's what we want to be able to do. Yes, because we have we have Senior Expo coming up yes. and the full recipients of our money goes to SALT. It's huge. So they can provide, yeah. provide things like that. And so mm -hmm. Facebook is probably the best way to get information yes. about the necessities because we were talking earlier. Yeah. We're not high tech. There's no website. No. There's no designated person. Right. Everybody's a volunteer from yes. us. Yeah. Um, and so the Facebook page is. Yes. That's the way to do it. It's um, the, it's not the Meadows. It is, <laughs> um, it's the, it's Salt NWA. Salt NWA. Yes. That's the yes. Facebook page. Yes. And we try and keep that posted. Yes. With other things. And we'll get to that in just a minute too, uh -huh. after we've probably taken a break. But mm -hmm. so they can go to the Facebook page. Yeah and like it so you get yes, all that information please. we don't post a lot but no. we post but the we necessities try. drive is really important yeah. so go to the facebook yeah. page which will tell you all the ways yes and That's i right. was really surprised that it, they are necessities when we were putting mm -hmm. these things together yeah we're not talking gucci purses here. no we're talking paper towels yeah and toilet paper uh -huh. and body wash yes yeah soap Yes, you know hand soap and uh, you know all the things. It's and it is. It's funny the the amount of stuff that's like. Oh man, why are we doing this? There's so many bottles of, you know, deodorant. Mm -hmm. um, but it really. I think last year um, we made about 120 huge trash bags full of these yes. supplies for 120 different people. So really, when you think about it, like that, a trash bag full of necessity items these days especially is yes. is quite costly oh yes so yes. um it's not fancy you know we are very organic and that's the thing every person on the council has another job so we're not dedicated to only working on this council right. so we don't have a phone number or someone right. who's making all the posts except for we have some wonderful volunteers that do um but when they do <laughs> yes <laughs> it's so. all helpful so we we'll talk about necessities drive. We're going to yep. take just a, a short pause, and then we'll come back and talk about Coffee with a Cop, maybe, Great. and the Salt yes. Academy, which is coming up. Yes, it okay, is. Okay, we'll take a short pause, and then we'll be back. We'll see you in just a few moments. Welcome back. We learned a lot about the necessities drive, and now we're going to talk about some of the other things that SALT does. Mm -hmm. So, Megan, um, I mentioned coffee with a cop. Yes. 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 That happens. <clears throat> so that happens sporadically. Typically, it's been about once a month. Okay. Um, and we have them in different locations. We try to move it around to different towns. So Pea Ridge, Bella Vista, Bentonville, Rogers. Um, we do have another one coming up in November, and I don't have a date with me. That's okay. Go to, to the Facebook page. Yeah, go to the Facebook page. Yes, another you. reason to go to yes, the Facebook yes, page. Perfect. So, but with the coffee with the cop, that is mm -hmm. that is exactly what it That's sounds what it like. Yeah, it's a way to connect um, the community with law enforcement and to ask questions. There are so many good questions to ask, and it could go anywhere from. 45 minutes to an hour and a half yes. as far as like just the question and answer section yes. usually they'll cover what's happening in our community so what is our crime rate looking like what are we looking at in restructuring and uh, traffic and that kind of thing some of the basic stuff that we want to know but we may not really have a connection as to how or why we would know that um, and then again opening it up for you know things such as like why is that road only a 45 mile an hour road yes. up to what can we do when we're concerned with the weather moving in and, you know, we need to yes. talk to someone about helping with a tree that's about to fall on our house, that kind of thing. Yes. Um, they're so um, good at connecting the community, even with who they need from there on out. Right. So. And the two points that I came away with when I went to one of the Coffee with the Cops was uh, people asking questions about when is it a 911 call, yes. when is it an emergency call. Yes. That was a good one. And yeah. also, um, Chief Graves was definitely like, please call us. We'd rather <laughs> yeah. you call us. Yes. And we can send somebody by. Just Na to do even a welfare yes. check. Or Neighbors a on vacation. Yes. You see exactly. somebody at the house, just call us. Yes. It is, it's, it's so 
I would say astounding to me how relatable they are and how engaged. You know, yes. it's not a, we're too busy for this, especially in this community. And I don't know if we're just blessed in this community with that kind of a law enforcement system or if that is, uh, you know, throughout the U.S. as well, right. but I do know that it is something that we absolutely should capture and um, utilize. Yes, and we want our, we want everybody, but especially our seniors to feel safe yeah. and to feel that they can reach out, that it's not an imposition. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the police department want that too. They do, especially with the different programming and the different things that they do yes. um, in this area specifically. Um, it makes it interesting because, you know, there has historically been a higher population of um, seniors or elders in the, in the community. And so, you know, with the weather comes in and the roads are difficult or whatever, it, it, it just brings a whole new aspect. So sure. having them available is nice. It, very nice. <laughs> so let's talk about the Academy. Yes. That's always so exciting. It is. I it learned is. so much. I like I look forward to it. And again, you know, with all these different things I used to be involved with, I, I've really narrowed down to what is important and what brings the most um, quality. And this is what it is. Between the Coffee with the Cops, which again, sure, you know, get together for an hour or so events to the academies, which are full day events. Um, they they start around nine o'clock, um, again, on the Facebook page. Yes. Uh, but we do have one coming up October 10th at the Bella Vista Lutheran Church. Yes. So it'll be an all day event. We'll provide, um, a, Concordia is providing breakfast. Nice. The Meadows is going to provide lunch. We'll have some snacks in between um, and really, really good content. Door prizes. Yes. I mean, it kind of covers everything. Some of the content that's going to be available. Some of the content, yes. Uh, a lot of talk about scams and, you know, it, it just even the relevant stuff that's going on right now, um, cyber scams, um, phone, that sort of thing. Yes. Um, we've got someone coming um, about um, Medicare, some of the fraud that goes along with Medicare. Um, the, the, we've tried to kind of change it up this time with some different speaking yes. speakers because I know too that we have some folks who have like, oh, we've come every year and we love it. Right. But so so there will be some new content this this time for sure. I will say that, but then every time I go, if I do hear the same speaker, yep. it takes a few times of me hearing it yes. to go, okay, I need to pay attention to that. And I tell you what, those cyber guys, I mean, even even for folks who are not inundated or totally integrated with cyber technology, it still applies. Yes. And every time it's something new, I'm like, oh my, I didn't even think about that. Yes. Even using our debit cards and, you know, safety with that kind of thing. Yes. So. And that needs to be reiterated. I know, yes. I'm sure you experienced that maybe with some of your lovely folks at the Meadows who, yeah. the big one used to be uh, my grandchild's been kidnapped somewhere yes. and I need to send money and they're getting the transportation to go to Western mm -hmm. Union and you're like, whoa, wait yeah. a minute here, let me... It, and, and that's the other reason this is so near and dear. You know, even for as as tight knit as my group is, and I know all of my residents and all of my residents' family members, at least one or two of them, um, we've even had several residents who have been scammed, who who they had someone call and say, this happened with several. Yes. Um, I, I, hey, you won this grand prize. I'm going to send it to you, um, but you have to send me $10,000 in a book. Yes. And it was done. And so, um, you know, it's that kind of thing. They can trace. They can they can do all they can. Right. But it's not. You, you can't you can't get that back. It's right. not recoverable. So, so even with as um, even with as much education, even as my people have gotten, it, it's still a problem. Yes, it's a problem for all of us. It is. But yeah. we it's certainly, easy. It's easy to fall into that. Yeah. And we don't want our seniors to be taken advantage of. Right. Because a lot are on mm -hmm. very fixed incomes, and yeah. any kind of money going from their accounts is a huge, huge loss yes. for them. So yeah. we want them to be educated yes. and not feel like, oh, am I being paranoid or whatever? Come right. and sit in the room and hear it and then go, 
okay, that is a scam. Yes. yes. I don't need to participate in yes. that. Yes. So. And I think, too, the other thing that um, I don't I don't believe we have it coming at this time, but there's always someone available to discuss it, but is, again, that weather safety of, like, yes. okay, so uh, with the weather moving in or with storms or even with clearing out all our Bella Vista trees are beautiful, but making sure that we are safe in that yes. respect as well. Yes. Um, along with, you know, kind of the basics of, um, uh, concern with uh, people like when we're out on the trails and walking and being aware and alert and what we can do to um, be prepared. Yes. So. so I would encourage everybody to sign up yes. for... Um, yes. Do you have the number by any chance? I oh, do. Okay, let's give us the number. Okay, okay. The number is the Bella Vista Lutheran Church. They're great about taking a registration. Is 479 855 two. Seven, two. Give us that one more time. Okay. 479-855-0272. And it's usually a packed event. Yes. I mean, it is. Yes. It's very well Lots attended. Lots of folks. Yes. Mm -hmm. People taking notes, very well attended. Yes. So, and yeah. there'll be vendors there. We have a lot of vendors there this time, actually. And um, we'll have... We'll have, we'll have a good turnout. Um, so that always helps because you have lots of people to talk to, lots of swag to walk away with. Who doesn't like so, swag? Yeah, so. you need some more pens and notepads. And as we've been saying, go to the Facebook page yes. if you're Facebook savvy. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, type in something. If there's something that you want to see at one yep. of the SALT events. Yes. Or you need to be hooked up with the coffee with the cop and you're not getting mm -hmm. the information. That's a great, great way to do that so let's just go back briefly to necessities because that's yes. coming up yep. and the Facebook page is a great way to find out there's we're also mm -hmm. going to be putting up Amazon links for yep. people who shop on Amazon mm -hmm. who can just add something to their cart and get it delivered to salt yes. um, so that's coming up it's and, and if you need more information we're going to give you Miranda's yes. number yes Miranda and and so we did we joined it into um, the sheriff's department into salt, um, just so that folks would know that this is this is a viable <laughs> thing. Legitimate, we're, yes. Yes, we're not taking any additional funds. We do have folks who prefer to donate through GoFundMe and yes. that sort of thing. So all of it is kept and utilized for that. I will say, even the other day, uh, oh, this is a while ago. One of the local departments, and I'll go back to her number. I yes. Promise. This I'll keep you story. on track. Okay, okay, good. Thank you. I need that. Um, one of the departments mm -hmm. called and said, hey, we don't know who to call. This set of grandparents just, um, their grandson or granddaughter had to come live with them quickly. They have nothing, and they're starting school, and, you know, they don't have supplies. They don't have anything in the house. They're really struggling. Do you have any, any contacts, anything that could help? And Miranda was like, in fact, I do. Yes. It was, it fit perfectly as far as, you know, really, really tying in. So the ability to um, connect in that kind of way, even just randomly, not yes. even at a season um, or at Christmas season, um, has so many benefits. Yes. So, okay. Miranda okay. Booth yes. at the Benton County Sheriff's Department. Her number is 479-271-1000. One zero zero eight. Oh, and it's on our screen. Thank hey, you so much. What are you doing? I love okay, that. Perfect. So four seven nine two seven one one zero zero eight extension three six one six. And Miranda is super friendly. So. She is. She's she's this bubbly little great yes. person. Keeps it all under control. She does. So. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Yes. I think we covered most of the stuff for salt once yeah. again we encourage people to yeah. go to the facebook page because that's where they can really connect yes. with what's going on and communicate with us yeah. communicate with yeah. miranda donate please donate yes. <laughs> donate something <laughs> It'd be helpful. toilet paper donate so and the great thing is there are lots of ways to donate so we've talked about amazon we've talked about um the uh, gofundme yes. um, the police department the police department has a box that will they'll have set up soon yes. um, the Bella Vista Police Department um, we have one at the Meadows there's several locations that will be on the flyer yes that you can um, go and just drop off donations yeah. November 1st through the 31st is when we're taking donations it's going to be here just be great. before we know it so well. thank you so much for joining yes. me and um, we'll see you at the expo sounds great okay thanks so much thank you bye bye <laughs>